So, hello fellow coin collectors, how you going? This is Glenn, and today we're going to have a look at eBay sold items for the 2011 $2 coins. So we need to put it in Australia, $2.2011. So that's the coin we're going to look for. And here we have some items that are actually listed. Uh, what I like to actually go is lowest first and then you need to filter Put the category coins coins. Don't worry about notes Australian and See the search results can Be stuffed up because these 20 cent coins we're not looking for but If you look at the two dollar coin you see that they actually start at 650 uh, but they've best offer and they go up as you can see search results is not perfect so seven dollars seven dollars so if you want to see what they actually sell for then uh, we go filter again and go to sold items so this one sold for three Fifty, so a dollar fifty probably make fifty cents profit on that. Um, no, no, probably a dollar profit actually if it's three fifty. Uh, Six dollars ninety five, seven dollars seven ninety five, and uh, seven dollars. So probably that three fifty is a one off. So probably about seven dollars per coin. So. Why are these coins so special? Well, if uh, you want to check what these coins are worth, okay, so don't worry about that. I am on Numister, and then you can go to, I'll just go back, that was from the last video. You don't need crowns, go to territories, go to Australia. So we go to Australia, put in the field 2011, and it should give us a list of coins that were issued in that year. So not worried about those, not worried about commemoratives. Page four, uh, $1 still. God, so many $1 commemorative coins. Most of them are actually junk. Okay, so then, oh, gone. No, all right, so it's not gonna work. Not everything in life goes the way you actually want it. So then we go $2. So this is a, a waiting game, go to page 20. You can see what denomination is at, oh, still 50 cents, we go 40. There's a lot of commemorative coins. So if you want to actually reduce it, Go down below, coin types, get rid of all, uh, unselect that, none, get rid of all the coins you don't actually want. So we just want standard circulation coins, then search, then go to page four, and the actual two dollars should actually come up. Ah, there you go. See, well, it's got the new effigy, but we want the one with the IRB effigy. And if we go down, so as you can see, it has all the mintages. And this is actually better than the Royal Australian Mint because you got, so it is 2004, you got the normal circulation, you got the koala baby, proofs, specimen wedding, koala, and uncirculated sets. But we want 2011. As you can see, 1.8 million, so pretty low mint coin. How many are in only 40,000 sets, 15,000 proof. So that's why that coin is actually valued the way it is. And if you look at 2012, 5.9 million, but it really doesn't get the uh, same value because it's a high minted coin. And if you go down, you can see. Uh, so they haven't actually put the ever vintage figures from the ever years. So 
maybe I will fix that up. But that is why that coin is actually worth uh, as much as it is in uncirculated grade. You're probably getting a, a higher value. And I wouldn't worry about the values actually in Numisto because a lot of the time they're actually a bit misleading. Because you get I know, very fine coins that are lower value than uncirculated coins. So really. But if we have a look at a greater coin. So MS65. So this is a, a nice coin. And as you can see, PCGS graded this. And I'd say this one probably would have come out of a set, a circulated set. That's why it's actually graded so high. And number one, so in as a graded coin, you'd be paying $40, 40 45 dollars. I'd say they probably would have made absolutely no money from grading that coin. So it's really not worth it. I reckon great coins are only worth it if they're over a hundred dollars. So, oh, where's the image going? There you go. This one graded at six. Ah, this is a proof coin, sixty-nine. So PR start mint proof, deep cam. So, as a proof coin, yeah, I'm not too sure if uh, they actually made any money. So, those are the values of a 2011 $2 coin. Take so average circulator, probably 5 to $7. And a graded coin from an uncirculated set, about $40. And from here, a proof set was, how much was it? 70 I don't know, here's another proof. Graded as, 68 and that was 42 so as a proof coin uh you know i wouldn't grade a proof coin if that's the actual value you're actually going to get just better off just keeping it in the set and selling it so anyway i hope you like this video i hope you found it informative and i hope when you have a coin and you want to find out the values you use this coin video as a reference to go to ebay and check out the values you can also go to PCGS for um, slab coins, which this whole case is a slab, and you can check out the how many are actually in the population. PCGS doesn't actually have the prices for Australian coins, only in the United States coins, which uh, they actually follow quite intensely. So anyway, thank you very much, and have a nice. Coin collecting time. Thank you and bye bye.